welcome to the SOCON Report podcast. My name is Joseph Combe. I am the Director of Public Policy at Family Policy Alliance, and I'll be your host this morning. I'm honored to come to you with a bit of a recap of 2023, which we have denoted as the year of Help Not Harm. Family Policy Alliance's Help Not Harm campaign began back in 2017 when we identified a new and unique threat to our nation's families and particularly our children. We believe that every child is made in the image of God and no child, therefore, is born into the wrong body. But there are forces in our in our cultural and political network that believed otherwise, and we're trying to impress that upon vulnerable, vulnerable children who were unsure about who God made them. And we saw that they were under threat from predatory medicine and irreversible damage of so-called gender transition procedures. So back in 2017, Family Policy Alliance drafted the first of what we would call our model help not harm bill. And this bill was designed to protect children from these so-called gender transition procedures and empower them to enforce that protection against healthcare professionals. For several years, we didn't see much movement on this bill. Then, because of you, our supporters, you started to make this a big deal culturally. You went out into the culture and advocated for these children. You supported organizations like ours at Family Policy Alliance. And in 2021, we saw the first Health Not Harm bill passed in Arkansas. This was a great bill. Following that, the next year, we saw two states pass it. Still not a lot of movement. But this year, you made this such a predominant cultural and political issue that Help Not Harm exploded onto the legislative scene in state capitals across the country. And at the end of this year, we saw 17 states pass a help not harm like bill, protecting children from gender transition procedures, empowering families to get the help they need for their children and ensuring that doctors are held accountable for their predatory procedures on children. Parents and families should be able to trust doctors. This bill ensures that you made this happen. That raised our total states that have passed this bill to 20. This is absolutely unprecedented. You made this possible. And we have a very special message from our CEO this morning who wants to talk to you about this. I'm gonna hand it off to Craig DeRoche, our CEO. Listen folks, 2023 was the year of helping children rather than harming them. Folks, that's the important message. The radical left, the LGBTQ community is going to children as young as kindergarten and elementary school in it, when they're at their most vulnerable and trying to mislead them. Folks, these kids needed help. And in 2023, we were able to help them because of you. You put us on the field. You helped us mobilize hundreds of social conservative organizations. And you helped us protect children in 20 states. And folks, we, we had to override governors, two Republican governors, two Democratic governors, to protect children this year. But we accomplished that because of you. So as we close out 2023, the year where Help Not Harm protected children in 20 states, we're humbled and reminded that we have 30 states to go on just that one issue. And that's before we get to life and religious liberty and the foster care system and so many other issues that we're concerned about. But we couldn't have got here without you. It's been a blessing and 2024 will be the most consequential year in our history. And we're gonna be look forward to be there right alongside of you. Back to you, Joseph. Thank you, Craig, for your inspiring words and for your leadership of Family Policy Alliance and in this movement to protect kids. And now, friends, we want to share with you a highlight video on our Help Not Harm campaign that shows just how much hardship we went through to get these bills passed, but you empowered us to do that and to endure it on behalf of vulnerable kids and parents everywhere. Take a look. I couldn't really describe the sensation. I mean, it was like, it was numb, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I could feel everything. And it was, it was hard to look down at my chest like that. There was one night when I just, I just broke down crying. I was really upset. And, uh, that was when it really started to set in the reality of the situation. So is the Senate. That's why we're here every day. We show up at the Capitol, regardless of who else is here, because this is your Capitol. This is our Capitol. And we will not be deterred by anybody that tries to discourage us. We're going to be here all day. We won't be deterred. All day we won't be deterred. No matter what anybody does, we're not going to be deterred.
from everyone here at FPA, we want to thank you once again for making 2023 the year of help not harm. But we believe the best is yet to come for FPA, for our country, for our families and parents, and for you and your families. Thank you once again. We will see you in 2024.